Hi everyone, this is Linda from the DuchessKitchen.com. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, for today, I'm going to show you guys how to make chocolate and orange cookies or checkerboard cookies. So let's get into it. So as I always do, I like to prepare my dry ingredients separately. So this will comprise of the flour, salt, and baking soda. I'll whisk it so that it will distribute everything in equally and I'll set that aside. Then we're going on to our creaming method where we're going to cream our sugar and butter until light and fluffy. And I like to use room temperature but not very soft. You can make a dent with your finger but still hold its shape. It's very important with that um, it prevents overspreading of your cookies. So we're going to cream. I'm using um, stand mixer. You can use hand mixer. You can use a wooden spoon if you prefer as well. So we'll let this go. That's two minutes and uh, scrape down. Add our eggs and vanilla extracts. And when they are well incorporated, then add the flour. You can see how it is light in color and it's fluffy they are all mixed this is what you're looking for add my eggs actually i'm using egg yolks so three egg yolks i'm going to add everything dry ingredients, the one I mix initially. We're just going to combine it to make sure there are no traces of flour anywhere, then they are ready to move on to the next stage. Just making sure I get all the good stuff out so there's no waste. From here, we, the dough has been divided into two. So this is one part of the dough, and into which we're going to, I'm going to add orange zest. Uh, I just just created it while this was mixing. So you don't want the whiter parts whilst you are zesting the orange to be part. That tends to be a little um, better and we need to also add a little bit of orange extract I have an homemade orange extract pure extract so if you don't have it vanilla will work as well uh, because I wanted the flavor of the orange to really come true so I'm using orange extract here so this is also ready. And now onto our chocolate part. So this is under half of the dough. All I'm doing is adding three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder and a teaspoon of chocolate extract. Um, just for intense flavor. If you don't have that, you can also add a little bit of espresso oil. So after that, I'm going to mold them into six by two by two inches. Um, the length is six inches. 
and the width will be 2 and the height will be 2 inches. Um, the whole purpose is to be able to cut it into three into three sizes, equal sizes, then each one into three as well. So in all we have nine strips from each door. Nine strips from the chocolate and nine strips from the orange. So the first part is we're going to just divide it into three equal strips. Only yes. Where you can I didn't it's not in so much focus but all I'm doing is just two and one other thing I forgot to say that the dough has been chilled so that it will be easy to handle so after forming it into the rectangle I put it in the refrigerator overnight for it to chill for about two month two hours so now I have the first three slices of each color and I'm going to take each one and divide it into three. Do your best to get equal sizes so that it will be easy when you are assembling the final cookies. So I'm going to do this for all the three of them. Hi, uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for clicking on it and watching it. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe, like my videos, uh, leave a comment and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified. And as always, thank you to all my subscribers as well. Alright, so as you can see, I'm just trying to make sure I cut them into three equal um, stripes so that our next assembly will be easier. So now we have nine of the chocolate and nine of the orange cookie doughs. So now we are on to assembling it so we just alternate the colors so we have one orange then we followed by chocolate then the orange see that i'm pressing it together to stick if you have such a problem you can just add a little bit of water just to make it a bit tacky so that it can stick together then we're going to add one orange so we can see orange chocolate orange so when this is set and you are okay with it then you go to the next step so with the next step we're going to add chocolate on top of the orange I'm trying to get a good shape out of it then on the chocolate we're going to add orange and on the orange we're going to add chocolate so we just alternate. I'm just going to have three layers, three just three layer cookie. Uh, we don't want it too high. Yeah. So we're going to have actually we have two sets of cookie um, checker designs from these cookies. I mean from this door. Some sides fit better. So as you do it, you see the one is too high, one is too low. So you just um, just look through your cuts and see which one will fit better with the other one. So now our first um, our first batch is ready. So we're going to set this aside and uh, continue with the next one. So the first one we started with orange chocolate orange. Now we're going to start with chocolate orange chocolate. So on top of the chocolate we're going to add orange. Then on top of the orange we're going to add chocolate. 
so just alternate so that you don't have two colors at the same time that is the whole purpose when you finish uh, making the pattern if you feel that your dough is soft you can put it in the refrigerator to firm it up before slicing and baking but my still feels the so firm so I'll just go ahead and just slice them um, and proceed to baking it but if you think yours is losing its shape I recommend you put it in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes or so just to firm it up a little bit for easy handling um, so as you can see it's pretty some of the colors are blending but I like it I really like it it's pretty and with this type of cookies um, you don't need any decorations also for me so I'm just going to slice it into like about a quarter of an inch um, So just transfer them onto the baking sheets. Uh, mine is lined with um, silicone mat. You can use parchment paper um, so that for easy cleaning and uh, easy to also take your bake your cookies when they are baked from the baking sheets. So this is our second design, and I like it too. Let me let me know in the comment section below what you guys, what kind of um, checkered designs you prefer, and what cookie flavors would you like to use. But if you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, so now we're going to bake in our preheated oven for about. 9 to 12 minutes and when the edges are set you don't want it to get bent bent um, so this is our baked cookies and they look pretty and they will be pretty on every dessert table i hope you guys like this video uh, please like subscribe and comment uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video and always know God loves you. Stay blessed. Bye.